Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we will try to answer a question I have received from many of you in the channel. Does the GX100 sound like the GT1000? Or does the GT1000 actually sound better? In order to answer this question we will go through some pretty detailed tests. We will compare the GX100 versus the GT1000 versus the real Plexi to verify if they sound the same or if there are some differences. We will load both the modelers with the same IR, which is an IR of a greenback speaker that I have done and that is the exact one used for the real amp. We will check out the frequency response, the dynamic range management and the not envelope management of the two units versus the real amp to find out any difference if present. We will also check out two effects, a delay and a reverb, in order to verify not only if the amps sound the same, but also if the effects are equally sounding. At the end of this test, I think that we are gonna have a clear idea of the sound engine and the amp modeling technology used in the two machines. For this test, we will use five different leaks that I have pre-recorded in my digital audio workstation to make sure that both the units are receiving the exact same sound as we are gonna reamp the sounds recorded in my digital audio workstation. Let's start!
Final considerations here, and before jumping to the conclusions, let me point out a few things. First of all, both the units are using the same AIRD AMP modeling technology, and they both share the same AMP models. These are two factors that should imply that the unit sounds the same. On the other hand, the ADA converters of the two units are different. We have 32 bits converters at 96 kHz for the GT1000 and 24 bits at 48 kHz for the GX100. These are factors to take into consideration for our evaluation, in my opinion. Now, coming back to my sound tests, I noticed a tiny bit of more clarity 
in the high end frequency of the GT1000, where the GX100 is a tiny, tiny bit more soft. Now, these are really, really small differences that I noticed listening over and over again the sound samples. As regards effects, I noticed basically the same thing, with a tiny bit of, uh, how to say, less vibrant stereo image coming from the GX100. On the other hand, I noticed that, that the modelers basically behaves in the same way as regards the dynamic range management and the not envelope management. So we have some little differences in the representation of the frequency spectrum with basically the same dynamic range management and the same not envelope management. In my opinion, this implies that the amp modeling algorithms are basically the same and the differences in the high end frequency and the stereo image could derive from the different IADA converters used by the two units. Summarizing, coming back to our initial question, do these two units sound the same? Well, actually they do not sound the same, even if they are very, very close. So these were my findings and my opinions, and let me add that these differences are gonna be impossible to detect in a mixed song or in live use, as they are very, very suitable. So now please let me know your precious and valuable opinion in the comment section below. Were you able to detect the tonal differences of these two machines? Please let me know. You have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell and leave a thumb up. It would be of a great help. If you're interested in my IRs, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine, and a link to my two new Leo Gibson band songs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.